This is day 150 and the final day of my Millennium Bar 150 day challenge. For the past 150 days, all I've been doing are eating these Millennium Bars and sitting outside. The wife kicked me out of the house, the kids don't even know me anymore, but I really want to finish this challenge. So the final bar that we're going to feature today is coconut flavor. So here we go. <sighs> Haven't looked on YouTube for, for months now, don't even know what's happening in the news, but go through this challenge. As you can see, it has a nice little flaky flavor, texture to it. Flavor is okay. Let's see how it does with the coconut. Uh. You know, I can't do it. I want to see my kids. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's been around five months since the last video that I uploaded, so a long time has passed without any kind of content, and no, I wasn't spending the entire time eating Millennium Bars, although you never know when that may happen. So what I thought I'd do for this video is just provide you an update on what I've been working on for the past five months and what's upcoming here on this channel. So let's get started. So around the time of my last video, my wife and I were out shopping for our long-term family home. We wanted to find a home that the kids could grow up at and we could be at for many years. So we were out on the market. We thought it'd take a long time to settle on one. We happened to find one that we really liked that we were able to put an offer in. It was accepted and we went through the closing process. So we were really excited with what we ended up with. It's more home than we ever thought that we would have. We're about 10 minutes away from my last place, which was more towards the city. So this is a little bit more in the suburbs, but it's still close enough. A few days after we got the keys to the new home, we went on our annual summer vacation down to Sun River, Oregon, which we do every year. We already had a plan for months in advance. So during that time, we had the home going through multiple renovations just to get a little bit up to date. We're super excited about the new home. We basically doubled our living space. So a lot more space for us. And one of the perks of having more space is that I'm now able to have a dedicated video production lab. So this is basically my YouTube video office that's dedicated just for YouTube videos. So I have my desk back here with all of my supplies, all of the sound stuff, lights. I don't have to put it away afterwards. Oftentimes for my videos, I would set it up in the dining room and that wasn't too good for uh, family situations. So now I have a dedicated lab desk that it's a tabletop desk that has the lights on there, has the different test equipment that I need, the products that I'm reviewing. And I've been reviewing products during the time that I wasn't able to actually film videos. But now I have my own dedicated YouTube media room. So I'm really excited about that. While we're not exactly in a homestead with a lot of property, we do have a fairly decent sized backyard that I'm really excited about doing some prepping related projects with. So I'm talking with my wife already about uh, what kind of animals we might want to have back there, what kind of gardening, maybe get into some hydroponics. And I'm excited to start documenting those here on my YouTube channel. I've always wanted to do it. So here's the plan for the next upcoming videos. So there's a few different projects that I wasn't able to finish by the summertime. I like to finish those. One of those being my EDC Slim bag. I also have a few different product reviews that I've been doing over the summer, actually doing over a couple years now. There's some flashlight videos that I've been working on for about two years. So, and then the other projects I have on my lab space, I have a gas mask, some other miscellaneous ones that are going in various kits that I have. So I'd like to finish all of those, but I'd also like to move some of the topics on my channel more towards uh, home prep. So going back to that home prepping system and doing some things with related to some home automation I'm interested in. For example, as soon as we purchased the home, I started setting up some Nest products like the Nest thermostat, uh, the smoke detectors, uh, carbon monoxide detectors, and I also have some camera systems that I'm excited uh, to install. And I figured I might as well do a review if I'm gonna do that. So I'm um, really looking forward to doing a lot with home automation with the prepping mine. So uh, I'd like to finish all those projects. You know the ones that I've been doing over multiple years, the bug out bag, the vehicle preps, I'm way behind on, uh, the emergency bucket kit. Those have not fallen away. They've just been on hold for a little bit as we've been getting everything in place for our next phase in our family's life. 
So that's basically what I was hoping to provide for you in this video, just give you a brief update on what's been going on, why I haven't been posting videos, but I'm back now and I'm really looking forward to this new season of the Urban Prepper channel with new videos, new projects, expanded projects, stuff related to home prepping systems, some surveillance and security stuff for the home, and I have a lot more things planned. So I'm super excited. It's been a nice little sabbatical, but it's time now to get back to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Leave your comments below in the comment section and stay tuned now for new videos starting very shortly. See you guys next time.